Hey, what's up? Tom here from Chopper Color, and today we're actually going to be doing a live file transfer or write speed test to not only our space shuttle SSD, but other SSDs that were actually recommended by you guys. Because uh, kind of near the end of our design process, as we started to share and post about our you know space shuttle SSD, so many of the comments and suggestions were like, "Hey, you need to battle test it against this drive or this drive." So we got those drives. They're here today. And look, before you jump the gun and say, oh, well, why are you not testing it against this SSD? You know, we did our best. You know, we know there are a lot of portable SSDs out there. Uh, we selected portable SSDs for this test, just given that the brands that we selected from SanDisk, OWC, Samsung, you know, these are names that are trusted and pretty ubiquitous in the filmmaking editing world already. So here's the test. You know, when you buy a drive, one of the first things you're probably going to do is download footage, memory cards, maybe a project on the go. You know, writing to your drive is one of, if not the most crucial aspect of a drive. We wanted to design a no frills, no strings attached test where we're simply moving a file of an assortment of files, which I'll touch on here in a second, to the SSD and just simply set a timer and see how long it takes. So the way this test is going to work is we have a folder comprised of all types of files and footage that you might be using at home, right? We tried to create a real world scenario. This folder's got, you know, Arri Alexa ProRes footage, Blackmagic C70, film scans, documents, music, post-production assets. You get the point. Like there's 820 individual files in this folder totaling 554 gigabytes. So the way the test is going to work is once the drive is mounted, we're going to literally drag and drop this folder to the SSD and set the timer and watch and sort of time how fast the write speed is on these portable SSDs. And for those wondering why this test is only testing the write speed and not the read speed, uh, without getting kind of too in the weeds, you know, we feel as filmmakers and creators, the write speed is the one you're going to use the most. You know, when you're moving files to a drive, you know, editing or working remotely where you need to, you know, download memory cards, the write speed is really going to allow you to move quickly. And to be fully transparent, the read speeds are a bit less impressive to us uh, because to give you some context, the read speed of a drive is not throttled or bottlenecked by any internals inside of the drive. Uh, so it's actually quite easy to achieve a pretty fast read speed. And I think us demoing that for you today wouldn't really give you much information. Uh, so you'll actually even see a lot of these drives that we're comparing kind of brag and boast that they have this fast read speed. And some of them, that's the only stat that they're showing you on their website. So that's why this video and this live file transfer test is just gonna focus on the write speeds because we feel a write speed test is the best way to really test the internal components of an SSD. And for the sake of being as transparent as possible, once the file transfer or the test commences, there are no edits. You're gonna just watch a continuous take on this camera, and we're gonna actually just show a little screen share of the progress bar, just so you can actually see the megabits and stuff on the lower third. And then on the right part of the screen, right as the file transfer commences, we're tapping an iPad timer, and that's gonna go in real time. The only thing that you will see is, you know, after the beginning of the transfer, just so you're not watching a 17 minute file transfer, we 10 x the speed of the footage in our editing software. But like I said, there's no cuts or edits just for efficiency sake to get through these transfers and not have this video be an hour long. Uh, we just, you know, kind of the middle part of the transfer just sped up the footage by 10 X. Um, but yeah, with that, I'm going to get started. There is a visual index on screen. So if you want to skip to any of these time codes, just to see how our drive or a certain drive in particular performed, go ahead. And for those that just want to skip right to the end and sort of see the graph of the speed and the price, uh, you can do so as well. But yeah, thank you so much. And we're going to kick this thing off. All right, so the first drive in this test is going to be our drive, the TC Space Shuttle. Uh, I'm gonna just be in this bottom right-hand corner, just kind of obviously walking you through what you're seeing. I mean, it is pretty straightforward, but obviously, yeah, first step, just gonna open up the drive and show you that, in fact, the drive is empty. It's just been formatted, it's ready to go. Um, obviously, just wanted to also show, no sleight of hand, this is the folder with all the files, as mentioned earlier. Uh, and I'm gonna just do like a right click get info so you can see 
554 gigabytes. So I'm gonna do that for every drive just so you can see that every folder is in fact untouched. So beginning the transfer right now. So for the first 10 seconds of this transfer, this is a real time of like how quickly it's going. But around the 10 second mark, around right now actually, I'm just gonna 10X the you know edit in Premiere Pro, just so we're you know kind of moving through this video uh, live transfer test at a more kind of efficient pace. But obviously there's been no edits, just speeding up what you're seeing by 10, but it is literally still the same transfer. And near the end of this transfer, it's gonna go back to 1X, so back to real time, just so we can see this transfer kind of cross the finish line. And you can kind of see we're nearing completion. And the speed of this transfer is really in part because of the 150 gigabytes of cache. So it's able to achieve those write speeds sustained, where some of these other drives, as you will learn, after the first part of the transfer, it just bottlenecks and starts to slow down, so. All right, next up, we have the Samsung X5. By far the most expensive out of all the drives we're testing. Uh, this one was constantly commented to us by you guys on Instagram as we were kind of unveiling this product, like, oh, like, let's see the X5. And this is Samsung's like best offering. This is the fastest SSD they make. Once again, just kind of opening it up, showing you that it in fact is empty and ready to go. And um, yeah, once again, just showing you same folder, I'll also just do a quick right click get info so you can see that the folder is in fact 554 gigabytes what you're going to see in this transfer uh, is the write speeds are actually going to start to bottleneck and this is because of cache this drive has about 50 gigabytes of internal cache so the first 50 gigabytes are going to move at that advertised write speed i think this drive is advertised at 2300 right but after the first 50 gigabytes of that transfer, it starts to bottleneck pretty quickly. And you're gonna to start to see that ETA sometimes even starts to climb up at certain moments. So you can see we're already 10X and we're approaching where the space shuttle actually finished and we're only about halfway through this transfer. So a lot of this really is because of the slower write speed and obviously the cache just getting filled up almost immediately in the beginning of the transfer. Um, so was actually kind of surprised by this test given that this is the most expensive drive in the lineup and Samsung being the company that they are, this being their flagship SSD, uh, was surprised that in fact that this took like basically double and then some the length of the space shuttle. So we're here at real time, kind of seeing it cross the finish line. And the final time for this drive was still going. All right, eight minutes and 14 seconds. Next up in the test is the OWC Envoy Pro 2 terabyte SSD. And this is OWC's premier or flagship SSD or portable SSD. I know they make like the Thunderblade, which you have to plug into a wall, but as far as a comparable portable SSD, this is the one that we ended up going for. Um, on their website, I was not able to find an advertised write speed. I don't know if that's intentional or not. On their site, they're kind of only showcasing the read speed, which is higher. Uh, but upon purchasing this drive and doing our own test with the Blackmagic speed test on our Mac Studio, we found that the write speed was closer to 1700 megabits per second, which is slower and compared to a lot of the other drives in this test. So what you'll see in this file transfer test is that slower write speed is going to amount to a longer time. So I'm gonna let that play out and I'll tap back in near the end of this transfer. All right, so we're nearing the end of the file transfer test for the OWC Envoy Pro. As you can see, we're already over the seven minute and 30 second mark. And that 
longer time is just because of the slower write speed on the drive. So if you're backing up memory cards or footage in the field or moving a project to the drive to go work remote, that slower write speed is going to amount, as you can see, to a longer file transfer time. So the final time is seven minutes and 48 seconds. All right, next up we have the G Drive Pro by G Tech, or I guess now uh, SanDisk owns that company. So regardless, we were excited to test this drive or this SSD against our space shuttle. Um, just to give some context, coming up as a cinematographer, working on music videos and commercials, so many times I would see the DIT or on their you know download station cart, you know, G Tech drives, just because they are a trusted name in the industry, in the filmmaking editing world. Um, so it was exciting to, you know, test an industry vet against our own TC Space Shuttle SSD. So yeah, just gonna begin the test right now. All right, next up we have the Samsung T7. Without a doubt has become one of the more popular portable SSDs amongst filmmakers and editors. Uh, where you do save on some price, it being $179, uh, you are giving up or foregoing uh, the write speed and the read speed. And as this test is gonna demonstrate, that slower write speed is going to lead to longer time or lost time in terms of transferring files to your drive. Um, as advertised, I think the peak is 1,000 megabytes, but after doing some internal tests with the Blackmagic speed test, this is closer to 700 or so. So what that amounts to is when you're moving you know, files or downloading footage, uh, you're just gonna be waiting a lot longer. And as the speed tests or this file transfer test is gonna demonstrate, out of the five drives that we tested, this one by far took the longest. <laughs> All right, so we're nearing the finish line. As you can see, this drive is taking over 17 minutes to transfer that same file that the other drives did in, you know, three to seven minutes or so. Um, so by far the slowest file transfer among the five drives that we tested.
So yeah, just to kind of close this out, thank you for taking the time to watch this and hopefully the way this test was conducted was informative and just pretty straightforward. You know, like I said, we just tried to do a test where it kind of represents a real world scenario where chances are when you buy this SSD or any other SSD, you know, you're gonna be moving files to it. So this test was just designed to show you how quickly you can do that. And if you're interested, we also have a full video FAQ talking about a lot more of the internals of our SSD. And we also have a black magic speed test that we did to not only our SSD, but the same drives that you saw in this file transfer test. But yeah, thanks for checking this out.